Okay, the next item in the list is the timer function. Uh, just after the range test. Uh, by the way, the, th the three above that, the throttle curve uh, and the mixing, we don't need uh, for this airplane. You can set different throttle curves. Um, not really necessary. Probably be more useful for other types of aircraft or for um, helicopters. Mixing, I don't believe in mixing, although I will we'll use it from time to time for a special application. Uh, typically, you can mix um, the um, uh, rudder with the ailerons to make sure you get a coordinated turn. I'd rather teach a student to do that manually first. So I don't use uh, throttle curve and mixing. The flap system you've already seen in a previous video. So for the timer, um, it's a countdown timer. Uh, you can have multiple timers. Um, this timer starts with the throttle stick and you can also have timers started with buttons and, and switches and so forth. Um, but uh, I like uh, for the single timer that I use most often, uh, I'm going to set the time value to be at the beginning eight minutes instead of five. Um, and uh, uh, I'll adjust that time upward when I see I shoot for having a half a tank of gas left um, and uh, that's usually 10 to 12 minutes of flight for uh, an aircraft like this and that's more than enough but I'll start with eight and gradually put that up when I see how much fuel I'm burning uh, um, on a typical flight. Uh, so it's going to start with a throttle stick. I prefer that throttle stick to start uh, the timer when it gets over 50%, sometimes I'll even set it at 60%. Uh, in fact, I think I'll use 60 on this one. This allows me to taxi out. <clears throat> I prefer the timer to start when I take off. So um, up to 50, 60% for taxi out. The timer won't start. Uh, you will go to 100% uh, on takeoff. Um, the, the one time... Uh, needs to be active because from the time I start the aircraft start taking off <coughs> I want it to uh, continue its time. The one time uh, inhibit what it does if you pull the power back to idle then it stops the timer. I, I want the timer to continue so one time means start the timer once and don't let it stop uh, and that's what I prefer so if I pull the power back to idle I want the timer to, to continue. Okay, and then uh, for um, alarms and so forth, these are the settings I use. So every minute it's going to give me a voice alert that says, you know, you got seven minutes left or you got six minutes left. And when you get down to one minute, I want a voice. Uh, at 30 seconds, I don't need another, so I just inhibit that. At 20 seconds, I want a tone. Uh, 10 seconds, one second, I get a tone and then expiration I get a voice and every minute thereafter I get a voice. <clears throat> so it's nice to have the voice alerts so you can just hear how much time you got left. Um, in the next button uh, it gives you ability to change what happens when the timer starts, stops, and resets and I just prefer the default of the tone there. So that's the timer function and uh, again it's uh, uh, you can certainly get more complicated by having multiple timers, um, but a simple one timer started by the throttle is all I'm going to use for the Avastar. Thank you.